Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. And uh, somebody asked me, why do stations have to change frequencies in, um, you know, twice a year? And what's the reason behind it? And it has to do with propagation. And I'm going to show you a visual of why the propagation changes. If you look at a day and night map of the Earth, you'll see that as we go through the year, the shape of the darkness and the sun side of the Earth changes. So this is what it looks like in January. A lot more of darkness in the northern hemisphere, that's why our nights are long, and a lot more daytime in the southern hemisphere because they're in the summer. And of course, that means they'll be using frequencies that have to do with how much daylight or how much nighttime there is in different parts of the world. In general, because there's more nighttime in the northern hemisphere, stations tend to use frequencies that are lower. An example, uh, Radio Exterior de España, uh, Spain will be using 9690 in the wintertime. That's what they're using right now. But now let's move on and let's check the differences. So look at what it's like now. Let's move four weeks later, and you see that the shape slowly changes. It's less of a, uh, you know, there's still a lot of, of nighttime here, but it's not as much as there was a, a month earlier. Now we're in February. We go into March. Now notice how daytime, nighttime starts to look very, very, very close. Let's move four more weeks here, and look at that. This is pretty much equal day, night, everywhere. This is what it looks like in March. So that shape has changed. And if we continue into the summer months, you'll see that the shape reverses. So let's go to the month of June. And here we are. And now the shape is completely reversed. We had a lot of uh, nighttime before in January here. Look at all the daytime now that we have in Northern Hemisphere because it's summer very short nights, and now it's the Southern Hemisphere that has all of that change. So any station transmitting from one point A to point B has to take that into effect. Now the fact that the days are very long in June, higher frequencies can prevail. And now an example again with Spain, in the summer they'll use 17855, a 16 meter frequency because it will propagate better because of that change. So that is the reason why we have to change the, uh, the, the, the frequencies twice a year, is to match the propagation with the best frequency possible so that you can hear the station and the intended target area. Because the more daytime, the more solar radiation, the ionosphere can propagate higher frequencies. It's less interesting in the lower frequencies. It's the reverse in the nighttime, in the uh, uh, winter time when there's a lot of darkness. Well, that means that the lower frequencies are better. Higher frequencies tend to be less interesting. And of course, there's the transition part, which is interesting in March and April, and once again in September, October. So with this visual, this is kind of showing you why we have uh, the changes that are coming to uh, frequencies on shortwave. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.